Good morning, folks. Glad you could be with us again today. Hey, it's Wednesday, all right? It, it, we are halfway there. I, I know it seems like the week will never end, but you can make it, all right? Just a few more days, and it's the weekend, all right? So listen, we said this week, instead of uh, focusing on one verse and splitting it into three parts for our morning minutes in the Word, we're going to look at a theme this week, all right? Remember from Monday, we said the theme is peace. Have you thought about that since Monday? Have you thought about that idea that I will lay me down in peace and sleep? That God can give us peace. I, I, I hope it's helped you some this week. I want to give you another verse. And this one also is from the book of Psalms. Psalm 29, 11 says, The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Strength and peace. You know, sometimes we think of strength as something that we use during a fight. But sometimes strength is what we need for peace. They go hand in hand. Because, hey, sometimes it takes strength, it takes discipline, it takes courage not to say the thing that you want to say to Karen in accounting because she's getting on your last nerve. I'm sorry if you're Karen in accounting. That's just the name that I use, so I'm sorry if that's you. But listen, you need strength and peace when you're dealing with that coworker that gets on your nerves. Strength to keep your mouth shut. You need strength and peace sometimes when the kids, you know, when they, they find that nerve, like out there, it's the last one. And so they jump up and down on it. You need strength and peace. God, give me strength not to lash out. Help me have peace and calm, in, you know, an inner peace and inner calm. And help me not to, to say all the things that I want to say as they jump on that nerve. Listen, there's so many things that we need strength and peace for. Right now, of course, we've said it. We've, we've got a global pandemic and so much fear and all of this unrest and different things going on. And one person says, go back to, to opening everything up. The other says, don't. And there's so much back and forth. But listen, during that, God, give me strength. Give me peace. There may be something completely unrelated that you're going through right now. There may be something that has nothing to do with the virus, nothing to do with the pandemic, nothing to do with social distancing, and, and, and you're sitting there saying, that's all anyone's focusing on, but right now, my life is in turmoil. My life has been turned upside down because of something completely unrelated. You know what? Whether it's now because of the virus, whether it's a year from now because of something else, whether it's tomorrow because of something else, whatever, God gives his people strength and peace. And maybe that's what you need right now. Just tell him. Be honest with him. God, I need strength to get through this. God, I need peace because I'm in turmoil right now. I need you to calm me inwardly. Listen, God gives his people strength and peace. I hope that's helpful for you today. I hope you'll focus on that. Read all of Psalm 29. There's a lot in there. Go ahead and read through that and then just meditate on this peace and strength that God can give. All right, we'll be back in two days. Two days till Friday. We'll be back and we'll, we'll see another verse about peace as we, again, we need it. We need peace in these uncertain times and we need peace all the time. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Y'all have a great day and we'll see each other soon.